So let's talk about how to protect your money from the negative impact of taxes. I have found that when people set aside money for their future, for retirement, uh, they have this big surprise uh, when they retire, they have to pay back 25 to uh, 33 to 40% of that in federal and state taxes. And they go, whose retirement was I planning anyway, mine or Uncle Sam's? So in this video, I'm gonna give you a vision of how you can have 50 to 100% more in net spendable retirement in income by eliminating that danger and uh, be able to overcome the obstacle of thinking, oh, wow, I, I don't wanna keep paying this tax and outlive my money. I don't have near what I thought I was gonna have. I thought I was gonna be in a lower tax bracket. This is gonna transform how you think about retirement and not outliving your money. And I'm gonna give you the specific action steps, how you can convert up to 60% of your retirement income to be tax-free. I'm Doug Andrew. I've been a financial strategist and tax minimization specialist for 45 years. And this is what I have found that people need to learn how to convert a lot of their income, especially as they approach retirement, to tax-free income. Now, here's the problem. Many of us, we uh, go out, we get an education, we start working, and uh, we just participate in the company's 401k. We're told by our accountant, oh, just set up an IRA or 401k and, and defer because you're gonna be in a lower tax bracket when you retire. Do you know that has not been true or axiomatic in over uh, 25 years in this country? In fact, it took the financial services industry until uh, just three years ago to finally admit, oh, <laughs> maybe that was the wrong advice, but they don't wanna be sued. In other words, uh, most people, if they accumulate any type of a respectable retirement nest egg, they're not in a lower bracket. Do you wanna be in a lower tax bracket because you didn't save very much? Mm, no. And so people are in as high or higher tax bracket when they retire and they're surprised. I'm gonna explain why. So let me tell you a little story. I had uh, two school teachers come to me, both husband and wife, uh, several years ago, and uh, they were just uh, 59 and a half. Now you can tap into an IRA or 401k without a 10% penalty at age 59 and a half. And their accountant uh, said, oh, if you don't need the money, keep deferring, keep putting it off. Now, I don't know if you're like me, but defer uh, is a synonym to procrastinate. When has procrastination ever turned out good for you? It hasn't for me. And so they realized uh, that uh, they had been socking away money in the uh, state's 401k. They had uh, 403Bs and also some tax sheltered annuities. Then they had about a quarter of a million dollars that they had saved because they thought as a school teachers, they would get 2% for every year of service. They taught school for 30 years times 2%. That's 60% of their last best paychecks. Well. They were making about 5,000 a month and they would only then have a defined benefit pension of 3,000 a month. And so they went from 60,000 down to 36,000. Oh, we can't get by on that. So they socked away this supplemental income. That's great. Well, they didn't need it. They were going down the highway with uh, one foot on the gas pedal and the other foot on the brake pedal. They didn't even know they were doing it. In other words, uh, they were deferring, thinking they were gonna be in a lower tax bracket the foot on the brake pedal, uh, they were paying off their house, which we want to get out of debt. In retirement, are no longer contributing money, so they lose that deduction. The kids are gone, or if they're not gone, you can't deduct them anymore, right? Okay, uh, if you're in a business, you don't have those deductions. So they sort of killed their tax deductions. That was the foot on the brake pedal. And so they were going, wow, we're in this higher, higher tax bracket. If we pull out any money, we're gonna be paying through the nose. So what did their accountant say? Oh, then keep putting it off. Really? Keep procrastinating? So put it off till they're 70 and a half. They were flabbergasted when I showed them that they would pay a quarter of a million dollars in unnecessary tax if they kept postponing and delaying the inevitable. What was my advice? Get the money out of those uh, sooner than later in today's lower tax brackets. We did. It was painful, uh, but in five years, 
they only paid 20,000 in taxes because of the strategies I helped them with instead of a quarter of a million by putting it off. Do you know what that did to their income? Gave them double the income. You know, when I was telling them, uh, come on, get the money out, pay the tax, pay the tax. I felt like Sam I am in green eggs and ham. You know, you will like this, you will see. Well, it wasn't until after five years they said, thank you, <laughs> Sam I am. We like these green, okay? Uh, eggs and ham, the color of money is green, right? And so that's a story to illustrate how sometimes people get surprised. So I've had a, a national radio show for several years. And one day off the cuff, I was explaining this concept. And uh, I thought of these imaginary people, Mr. Taxed to the Max versus Mrs. I've a lot more. Maybe you'd say more. And so the difference is tax to the max uh, is counseled to, oh, keep deferring, deferring and putting it off. And then when you hit retirement, if you don't need the money, take just the RMD. That's called a required minimum distribution. If you don't know what that is, watch some of my other educational videos on that topic. And uh, so tax to the max, at the end of the day, by the time he hits his life expectancy has just been taxed to the max. And in another video, I explain why CNBC and these people tell you to do that. Who owns CNBC? Government revenuers. They're gonna tell you to do whatever they can do to get that piece. And the more you make, the more they will take throughout your lifetime. That's tax to the max. Mrs. I have a lot more. She got the taxes over and done with sooner than later in what I call a strategic rollout. I'll explain that in other videos if you're interested. But uh, Mrs. I have a lot more got her money out, the taxes over and done with, and she has 50 to 100% more in net spendable retirement income. So the key takeaway here is to understand that taxes uh, have a negative impact. If you were a farmer and you had the choice of buying your seed in the springtime and uh, you didn't have to pay tax, on the price, what you paid for the seed. But later on, when you harvested in life, uh, now you have to pay tax on what you sell your harvest for. That's a traditional IRA or 401k. I would rather just pay tax on the seed and enjoy the harvest without tax. And so I invite you to watch some of my other educational videos to understand how and why it's better to pay tax on the seed and enjoy the harvest without tax. So the key takeaways are establish your retirement strategy so that you're paying tax on the seed, but enjoy the harvest without tax. So you may need to learn how to convert to tax free because this will allow you to have 50 to 100% more in net spendable income. So I would invite you to uh, watch the next video on how to convert and have tax free retirement income by clicking here.